virtual world, become aware of your body laying there, both as separate and as connected to you as well. And feel yourself moving around the room a little bit so that you get a sense of motion. Motion leads to awareness. And just feel that sense of that you are outside of the body. And now quickly go to a beach, beach at the ocean, wherever that might be, wherever your favorite place might be, where you've been before, or simply where you've been before in your visualizations and your meditations and just see yourself now standing on that beach feet furred into the sand being aware of the heat from the sun the warm sand but as your feet go down deeper into the sand it gets a little cooler feel that sensation possibly you might be down at the water's edge you feel the water on your feet. Just become aware of the diff different sensations to your astral body. Become aware of the smells in the area, smells of the salt air, and the sound, the sounds of the ocean waves, sounds of the seagulls overhead. And of course, become aware of the blissful feeling that you have here at the water's edge, the ocean, the sand. Just that sense of well-being that comes when you're near the ocean. And become aware now of the ocean waves that are coming into the shore, one right after the other. As one comes in and then recedes back out. Next one comes in and recedes back out. An energy and a rest. The breathing of Gaia herself. An energy and a rest. Breathing in and then exhaling out. How Gaia breathes, how all of we breathe, how all of life breathes, how the entire solar system breathes, all the planets, the sun, energy and a rest. Entire galaxy, energy and a rest. Even the universe itself, an energy and a rest, breathing in, and then exhaling out. Of course, at the universal level, breathing is thousands and thousands and thousands of years for one breath and one exhale. Become aware now all the way to the universal central sun, through all of the central suns of all of the galaxies, and to the cosmic source, to that great central sun, great universal central sun. Visualize how you believe it would be or even how you are seeing it to be. Immense, immense star, immense sun of unimaginable power, energy. Feel the energies coming from this great central sun as waves of energy that have been coming from here, through all of the galaxies, through the central sun of the galaxy, see wave after wave after wave has been coming 
just as the ocean waves come into the shore, see these as waves of energy originating from the great central sun of the universe all the way down to the planet Earth, to Gaia, striking the Earth as a wave strikes the beach, the sand on the beach, and then spreads out and spreads out. Wave after wave has been coming to this planet, spreading out like a tsunami across the entire planet, bringing higher consciousness, higher vibrational frequency, raising the frequency of the planet, raising the frequency of all life here on the planet. Notice how each wave that comes has been increasing more and more and more, larger and larger in vibration in size, but in vibration. Every time the next wave comes, the vibration has been increasing across the planet. There is one wave now. See that one wave that is, has come from the great central sun of the universe and is making its way here now. You can see it as it makes its way through all the galactic central sun. You see it now, visualize it coming all the way to the earth, coming through the sun of this solar system as a great flash of light, great flash of energy. It comes down and strikes the earth, just like all of these other waves have been doing, but this one is immense in energy. And as it strikes the earth and spreads out across the planet, it now brings a balancing effect to all of the energy here on the planet, raising the energy to equal the energy of Gaia herself, her vibration. So her vibration and the vibrations across the planet, the frequencies across the planet match. So all energies are now one together and balanced together. And see the resultant changes that would occur as consciousness raises across the planet and light illuminates all dark areas of the planet that would still exist at that time, but to exist no more. As light illuminates all the darkness, the darkness just fades away, recedes away. Continue now to see the immense changeover that occurs to the surface population of the planet. Not only to the people, but to the animals, to the plants and flowers. Where plants and flowers now grow and flower immediately. There was barrenness. There is now life. The waters across the planet, the oceans, the rivers, the streams, the lakes, now pristine, clear, clean, providing their life giving oxygen across the planet, just as the trees do as well. And the air becomes crisp and clean, bringing those 
that sense of those negative ions everywhere, the blissful feelings that come as a result of that. Wherever there was hatred or anger, jealousy or fear, is all replaced now by the light, by love by higher vibrations of love. Bringing a new understanding, a new sense of belonging, a new sense of oneness to all of mankind. All of mankind now feels the oneness with the planet herself, with the animals, with the plants, with the mineral. All of consciousness is raised in these moments. Now allow yourselves to begin to drift back towards your physical body, coming back, coming back, wherever you found yourself, whether it was here in this solar system, in the galaxy, or outside of the galaxy, right here on the planet. Bring yourself back now to your physical body. Come back now into a complete state of consciousness and circulation, fully revitalized and refreshed. And I am Kara, and it is a pleasure to be able to be here with you and to share in these moments and in these ways. For there is so much that can be said. There is so much that we want to be able to say, but as always, we are held back from doing so. So much that we know that is going on behind the scenes. But some of these things now you are becoming aware of more and more. The truth is beginning to filter out, not only to you, those that are the awakened ones, but to those that are yet asleep. It is beginning to filter to them. And those that are asleep or were asleep are now beginning to awaken themselves because they must awaken. The entire planet must awaken. Gaia herself is moving on into the higher vibrational frequencies of the fifth dimension and beyond. And all of life here on the planet must do so as well because life cannot exist in the lower dimensions here much longer. It must move on. And Gaia herself will only hold a place for those that are yet remaining within the illusion for, for so long a period of time, but then she must release. She must release those that will not move into the light, will not move on with her. They must be released. And they will be accommodated. Everything is being planned. Everything has been planned. And it is only necessary for those of you that are the awakened ones, those of you that are the way showers, to continue to move forward, to continue to move forward with hope, with the knowing that everything is exactly how it needs to be. And you, those of you, just simply need to continue to move on, continue to forge ahead and bring 
consciousness, higher consciousness along with you. Yes, we know there are times when even you, those of you slip and you fall back deeply within the illusion again and hope seems to diminish more and more because of all of the craziness that is happening around you. But you also knew coming into this that that craziness was going to occur. You knew it was going to happen. You knew you were going to be a part of it. You knew you were going to wonder at various times, why, why are you here? Why did you do this? But you also knew that it is at the highest level of your being within you to continue to move ahead, to continue to bring about the change over. And you, those of you are the changeover. It would not happen without you. The solar flash would not come without you. The great awakening that is occurring right now would not happen without you. Yes, we are here within our ships. We are here to assist wherever we can. But as you know, we can only do so much. But we can tell you this, that there are things that are occurring now behind the scenes, yes, but are very close to coming forward, very close to being revealed. You have heard it in terms of announcements. You have heard it in terms of new experiences that are coming. And it is only you that needs to continue to hold on just a little while longer, continue to move about your business within the illusion, but not be a part of the illusion any longer. Yes, you are in it, but you do not need to be of it. So just continue to move forward, continue to strive ahead, and everything will continue to take care of itself. You have our promises. You have all of the promises of all of the company of heaven, of prime creator him, herself. Everything is being worked out. All you need to do is to continue to trust in the plan and know that the plan is being worked out exactly as it needs to. And your part in that plan becomes greater and greater as you continue to allow for your frequency vibration to continue to rise. Because once your frequency continues to rise and your consciousness raises, your power raises with it. And with your power, you will spread the light even more. Some of you are noticing that now as the power within you begins to grow and expand and begins to bring a new sense of peace within you and a sense of uh, ability to be able to speak out, to speak out to your fellow man, to speak out and say, you do not need to continue in your sleep state any longer. You can rise above that now. You can find yourself in the light. Because the light is everything. The light is all everything and all things. And it is time now for you to realize that at a more full level, more and more each and every day, as you come closer and closer to the great solar flash, to the event and the great changeover that is following this transition that you are in right now, this transition that is taking you from one paradigm into a new higher level paradigm. One that you can now be co more comfortable in, feel yourselves becoming yourselves more and more within this new higher level paradigm. It is all up to you now, each and every one, to continue to be the way showers, to continue to call upon those of us, those of the company of heaven, your ascended masters, the galactics, the agarthans, all that you can call upon. We are all here to assist you. And all you need to do is call upon us and we will be there. But I 
can tell you also that there are plans in the works right now to begin to bring a connection to you which is more than just this type of connection, more than just feeling us within yourself, hearing our words within your thoughts, but a, an actual physical connection is coming closer and closer. Call it contact, first contact, although first contact has been occurring for some time now, but for, call it a more full contact and more full disclosure as those of you that have been prepared for these times that are ahead, those of you that have been prepared for this are being prepared for those further contacts to come. I am Kara, and I leave you now in peace and love and oneness to all of you. Omani Padmayoma, Omani Padmayoma, Oma, Om. Greetings to you, one who serves here, and we are ready to assist you with questions. Uh, we do not have a message here, uh, but we can take your questions if there are some. We need to tell you that the James is in somewhat a uh, uh, difficult position here as far as uh, some pain in his leg that is uh, bothering him, but we will attempt to uh, curtail this as much as possible so that we can uh, continue to move through this process. Would there be any, uh, would there be any questions here for when we search? You can unmute your phones if you have not already, and if there are questions, wonderful. If not, then we will uh, end this session early here. No questions? Um, yes? Hello, hi. Um, I just read something from a panel that I really like. And they said that basically that a lot of the stuff that we are seeing now, um, you know, the stuff that being taken down, so to speak, is actually being planned by the cabal to put people in a lower vibration. And they said that even the stories that that they are being taken out are created by the the dark forces. To I don't know misdirect us in our thoughts, and I just wondered, and I'm just sort of curious about your take. I guess there's a truth to everything, but I wondered if the channel had been perceiving misinformation, for example. What what is being taken out? We did not quite understand well, your the bad people, like the people in Hollywood. They were saying that these stories that we're hearing now about you know, people getting arrested and so on were being planted by the cabal to to make people focus on the darker events and keep them in a lower vibration. And even the stories about them, people being arrested were being made up as well. So I thought that was curious. What we can tell you is unfortunately not a whole lot about this, but we can tell you that Things are not as they appear to be, as you have heard many, many times. The truth is out there if you search for it more and more, but you are not being given the whole story. Now, there are ones that are coming forward and sharing uh, their understanding from their deeper level of intelligence that they are receiving, uh, or even just simply an inner knowing that is coming to them. And they are beginning to bring these truths forward. Many of those stories that you hear of the children being rescued is very accurate here. That is happening. What you are hearing about various arrests is in process. It is not directly occurring as some are saying here, but they are, uh, in the process of either being able to turn to the light or they will turn away from the light. And then when they turn away from the light, then the arrests and this type of thing will occur. 
because it must occur. The, what has been held in the shadows and in the darkness can no longer be there for very much more time here. It must come into the light. And as the light continues to shine more and more here on the planet, then those areas of darkness will continue to be illuminated more and more until the final e event, the solar flash occurs, which will then illuminate all darkness across the planet entirely. So we are saying that uh, there is a process that is occurring. Uh, you are calling it your transition, and that is a the, the right word for this, as it is a transition that you are all moving through at this point and bringing you to the next level of consciousness uh, to not only those of you that are the awakened ones and the way showers, but to all across the planet as consciousness is increasing, even though those of your cabal, your dark forces, are attempting to hold this off as much as possible. Because again, as we have said many times, they have been trying to hold off ascension. They have been trying to hold the sun back, the sun's rays from coming to the planet doing everything that they can to keep you in the lower vibration and therefore in the continued illusion, the continued 3D illusion here uh, that uh, they were largely involved in creating here. So that is all we can say on this at this point here. Thank you. That's very helpful. Uh, and it makes sense to me. C can I ask, may I ask one more quick question? Please. Um, the, one of my cats just recently, well, within about the past year and a half or so, started misbehaving, not going to the bathroom where he should. And I, I don't know why I sort of solved it from every aspect I, I can, basically. Just wondered if it had to do with the energies that are going on, if he's making a statement about the state of the world or something. We can tell you that cats, especially, are very intelligent. Uh, beyond what many humans believe they are. They have a connection that is a connection to their uh, oversoul, we will say here. And this connection uh, allows them to be at a higher level of consciousness than most humans would even begin to understand here. So therefore, they are attuned to the energies just as you are attuned to the energies, but even more so. And it can tend to uh, shift them in various ways, we will say, uh, these energies. So uh, it is nothing to be concerned about. You just simply love them as they continue to love you. And we are speaking not only to this one who has asked this question, but to all of you out there. Love your animals just as they love you, your pets. They love you. They show unconditional love for you. Do the same back to them, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm, I, I'm trying. <laughs> yes. Would there be any other questions here? Very good. Then we are ready to release channel. And we just tell you that Throughout all of this that is occurring, the, the James called it earlier, the uh, continuing to be sane within the insanity around you. And it depends on how you look at it. If you look at it as insanity around you, then that is what it will be. If you look at it as purposeful changeover or as part of the transition, then that is what it will be. And it, if you look at it in that respect, it will allow you to continue to be more neutral and therefore, in this sense, more sane throughout it all. Shanti, peace be with you. Be the one. Shanti. 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 Shanti.